Okay, this is the short version of how to access a Word, Excel, or PowerPoint file to your computer or as a link to share in Google Classroom. We're going to use Word as an example. When we use Word as an example, blank document, we're going to come in, we're going to do our work. Okay, I have completed my work. I am ready to save it because it needs to be a name that makes sense. So I'm going to do File, Save As. So we've got one or two choices. I can download it to my computer immediately. I suggest saving it in Office um, 365 and then downloading a copy. That way you have a backup should anything happen and you need to work remotely. We're going to name this as My Saved Work. But that's not a good name. I need to name it something that's going to make sense. So this is for my Exploring Computers and Technology class. It is Tuesday, 825's assignment. So I'm going to do T, 825. Explore Computers and Tech. Now here's the thing. I spelled out the word and because it will not take an ampersand, ampersand sign. I'm going to press save. Now that I have pressed save, you'll notice that it has changed the name of the document. So it now says this is Tuesday, 825's assignment for Exploring Computers and Technology. So I can continue working if I have more work I needed to do. And I notice up top it says that it is saving it. So it is automatically saving it online like it does when we're using Google Docs. But now you need a copy in Google Classroom. You can come straight over here and you can do Share. It is going to force you to put in an email address. You can put in your email address or you can put in your teacher's email address. So I've started typing my name. I'm going to click on it, but I am not going to hit send. Do not hit send because you are not submitting this in your teacher's email. You are not submitting this in your email. What we're trying to do is get it to Google Classroom. It just forces us to put that in in order to activate the link feature. So now we're going to click on copy link. It shows us it is copied. You are now ready to go over to your Google Classroom. And go inside the classroom to the assignment that you are working on. And you would go to Whatever assignment you're trying to work on, add or create. So we did it as a link. You're going to select link. Right click, that means middle finger. Normally you do pointer finger left. In this case on your mouse, it'll be your middle finger and right to open the shortcut menu. Then you go back to pointer finger left and paste, add link. Your link is now there and you press turn in. And press turn in again. So now your assignment has been submitted through a link in Google Classroom for you to be able to see and for your teacher to be able to see and grade.